I wanted to share how I made a homemade deodorant. And here's the ingredients. I put some vegetable oil. This particular oil is a mixture of coconut oil and sunflower oil. I put essential oil, you know, those fragrance oils. This one happens to be orange oil. A little bit of cornstarch. And a little bit of baking soda. You mix it together uh, with a spoon or your finger. I got an old uh, baby food jar and I put my own label on it so I remember how I made it. I made it a few days ago. It still smells wonderful. Now, I didn't want to go too many days without a shower to see how long the deodorant would last, but I did go over 24 hours and it, it still smelled wonderful. And um, my underarms didn't smell bad. They even still smelled like the orange oil. So the reason I did this is because I was using this health food store deodorant, which is really nice, but it has a lot of extra ingredients in it. You know, they try to make it sound like it's natural, but it's a, it's a lot of uh, different chemicals also. So this works. And I suppose you can use different vegetable oils and different fragrances. One of the uh, oils that I like is bergamot oil. And I'd like to try that. Also patchouli. And it's also a good idea to look up every one of these oils because even though they're natural, they might have some kind of side effect. So there's all kinds of ways to save money. Why should we pay like like nine dollars for a stick deodorant it's, it's just so silly you just turn it on the back and read the ingredients they I think they add so many ingredients so we won't try and make our own but all those ingredients aren't necessary just you know get the major ingredients um, you know the dry ones the wet ones and you know make it you know like a paste and um, another way I saved some money today I went and uh, had a test drive on a vehicle because I saw online that they give you a $50 Visa gift card if you take a test drive and test ride. And I am interested in a new vehicle, but uh, I'm taking my time and maybe I'll buy a used one. So I'm starting to do my in-person research now. Today I went on the I drove a stick shift again after many years and it was a Jeep Wrangler. I just think they're so cute. But uh and I wanted to see if my bursitis would let me, you know, work the stick shift and it did. I didn't have any problem. So as soon as I got back to the house, I got the code they gave me uh, in an email to get my $50 uh, Visa gift card. And it was a little complicated, but it worked. So right away, I used up the $50 with uh, Instacart. They have delivery from grocery stores because I don't want to wait with that. You know, something might go wrong with it or whatever. So think about different ways to save money. And uh, let me know if you have anything I haven't thought of yet. And I'm feeling really good physically. I mean... When you clean up your diet and start eating natural foods and exercise and fresh air and sunshine, little by little your body starts fixing things, you know, like I, I had some, uh, I had a growth over here. I made another video about that and, you know, it disappeared. It hasn't grown back. And all kinds of things might, might improve. We just have to give our bodies what they need. and. Many times it repairs itself. Think about it. 